next question I have is we get into branding and why a lot of different brands that are here that aren't necessarily mountain bike related should be looking at bike parts like Duthie, like other places around, like Stevens Pass. But it's a good segue into I have to promote high school brewing as a brand. Between Stevens Pass, Bike Park, and High School Brewing, and if anyone wants to go refill, because we have to drink that keg tonight. <laughs> I can't bring it with me to Canada tomorrow, so. Um, so, you know, we have a Yeah, everybody uh, go grab another beer, but I'd like to really thank High School Brewing. I mean, they were huge for sending a keg over with me to, uh, to this thing. So, uh, if you guys are in Leavenworth, it's a brand new brewery in Leavenworth. It's only been open for about just over a year, maybe like 15 months, so please stop in and say hi to those guys. And they're uh, big supporters of Evergreen Mount Michael of Central Washington chapter, so they're just all around rocking it. We actually have, yeah, and speaking of that, I think Central the chapter has video showing there tonight, um, actually, so, which is kind of cool, so. We'll ask the question, how many people are bikers here? Who rides bikes? At bikes least suck. once a week, maybe. Try to <laughs> down. How many? How many? How many people learn to ski and snowboarding? Does that kind of answer the question? I mean, yeah, right. Like, there's we're we're not like one trick ponies. Like these people are outdoor enthusiasts, and we're we're here because we love the outdoors and we we love to be in nature, and that could be on grass or in the dirt or up in the snow in the mountains or on a hike, you know, in the rocks, whatever. Um, I think the important piece is to figure out how can we leverage, you know, each other and, and work together to kind of cross pollinate. I think that's, you know. So from a brand, why should France be interested in Duthie? You know, Stevens Pass. I think it should. I mean, I think it should be because it's a reciprocal relationship, right? I mean, we bi we build bikes for people to ride trails. If nobody's building trails, and we're not selling bikes. At least from a bike standpoint, right? I mean, that's kind of how that goes. And so, um, you know, my viewpoint um, from a marketing standpoint is that um, that that is a real connection. I think people can really connect if if we're giving back to the community in a uh, productive way, and people see that. I think that's I think that's the best kind of marketing you can have, right? That's where people feel like. Hey, these guys are these guys are doing something really good in the community, and it's something that I support, so I'm going to support them. Uh, above and beyond that, though, um, and this is a point that I'd love to have some conversation about because I think it's I think it's I think it's really relevant when we've got multiple brands here. Um, something that's bothered me for a long time, but I'd, I'd really love to help kind of spearhead some change in is the viewpoint that um, <coughs> that advocacy should be a competition between brands and. Marketing is, and getting the word out there about your brand is, and selling bikes or selling skis or snowboards or skateboards or bat baseball bats, whatever. That, to a degree, is a competition. But at some point, you decide, hey, you know what? We, you know, maybe as an industry, we decide at, at, at this juncture, we lay down the guns for the greater good. And the greater good is something that helps all of us. And nobody, sh nobody will or should exclusively benefit from it. And that's making sure that we've got a really strong infrastructure underneath us to support the businesses that we're trying to build to sell bikes or to sell whatever, right? Like, we're in the sales business, and the, but there's got to be somebody in the advocacy and the trail building business or the, you know, anything, skate park building business. It doesn't matter what it is. I think that that's only an issue in larger cities, though. I mean, if you look at, like, turnkey areas, I mean... <clears throat> You know, for on the ski side at least, one brand is going to own Mountain Ops, Ski Patrol, you know, the entire uniform up and down, right? I'm sure that you guys have a uniform package from, like, one apparel company for all of your different services. So, you know, it's, and all of a sudden you align yourself, you know, or resorts align themselves with kind of that brand. So that competition is still kind of there from a, in larger cities where you don't have quite the turnkey access, like, here compared to Whistler, Telluride, or places like that, then yeah, it makes a lot more sense. But why would a national brand that doesn't have roots in a local area want to, you know, want to get get on board? It seems like there'd have to be like a really big draw from it from a marketing perspective, because advocacy really is a marketing spend for a brand. It, it is to a degree. In certain situations, I can see where that that applies. I think Joel's actually really. Um, 
a really good representation of that because he's choosing not to go that route with his mountain bike park. He's choosing not to have an exclusive brand of bikes there. He wants to bring in a number of different brands that are wanting to be supportive and trying to, you know, build, you know, kind of an equal base for those people to play. And that's fine for somebody to monopolize, um, you know, a, 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 a rental fleet or something here and there. Um, but the, the, think about it like this, though. When you've got somebody who's become a title sponsor for, let's say, a bike park or something else like that, um, there's a, the big brands can usually survive because they have the, the marketing budget to, to kind of push through and to find a way to, to take a different or a unique angle into, into whatever is being done. It's the smaller brands that don't, and I continually see a lot of the smaller brands not getting their foot in the door. And, it, and, 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 and part of my research and talking to a lot of these people is that, well, oh, well, so-and-so is the title sponsor, and I'm not going to get anything out of this, so I'm not going to do it. And that's the wrong mindset, and that's the wrong mindset for an industry, right? We need to be equally engaged in funding this together, and that needs to be an opportunity to where, sure, we can own certain segments, but, you know, I think it's up to the industry to say, hey, you know, we've got to find a way to encourage a lot of the smaller brands because it's going to take everybody. These parks are not cheap, and ski hills are not cheap, and skate parks are not cheap, and they're way beyond what really any major company is going to be able to provide. They need a lot of investment from, you know, industry companies to beer companies to whoever else to make these things happen. And so, you know, um, I just think getting that out there gets people to start to think a little bit differently about how they mm -hmm. go about spending their money and how they're how and how um, different uh, you know projects or whatnot are trying to leverage that money. I'd like to speak to that too for a second. Um, so I can't speak to the marketing side of it. I'm an engineer. Uh, my mind just doesn't. My mind doesn't really work that way. <laughs> but I can speak to the advocacy side of things. Um, I don't know whether it whether branding is advantageous or how how ad, how branding and advocacy fit together. But what I can tell you is that a rising tide floats all boats, and you guys can fight about competing for a growing industry. That's awesome. But focus on advocacy, which allows that industry to grow. This park grew mountain biking. If we have these parks grow popping up all across the state of Washington, all across the country, you are growing mountain biking. You guys can fight over an ever-expanding pie then, which is awesome. But I was just up in Whatcom where the, the issue is completely different, and it's about closing stuff down. And really, you're going to fight about a dec over a decreasing pie then. Advocacy is about building that base customer, um, the, the, the total dollars spent in the industry. Support it because you will benefit from it. Support the advocacy. Fight over the product sales.